So the 12.5, 12.6 lecture starts out. <clears throat> it's talking about what's called permutations and combinations. If repeats are allowed, you could use exponents. For example, how many five-letter passwords are possible if repeats are allowed? It'd be each position, each letter, there would be 26 choices. So you could put a 26 in each blank, which is multiplication or 26 to the fifth power, and that would turn out to be 11,881,376. Also, uh, if repeats are not allowed, we could use something called factorial. For example, how many ways are there to eat six M&Ms, one of each color? Well, the, if you laid out one of each color, the first M&M, you'd have six choices. Then the next choice, you don't have five left because you already ate one. Now you've eaten two of the colors and there are only four, so it goes six, five, four, three, two, one. That's multiplication, again, or what's called six factorial, which to do six factorial, you're going to want to go to the calculator and you'd type in the letter six or the number six first. Then you go into math, and you have to slide over to the PRB for probability menu, and you can see that the number four choice is factorial, the exclamation point. And you hit enter, and that's how you get 720. Now the next problem is if repeats are not allowed, we are saying that order matters, we're going to use permutations. How many ways to assign first, second, and third place if there are four runners in the race? So it's four times three times two, and it really should be times one, but you don't need to multiply by one, and that's 24. A way to do this is to do a permutation, and when you do permutations on the calculator, you're going to type in the total number that you can choose from. So in this case, there are four runners. Go to math, slide over to the PRB, menu and you can see number two is the permutation and now we're going to assign them uh, first, second, or third place and so of the places uh, so I guess we didn't need that times one up there it's just the first three places so four runners three places is a four permutation three and you get 24. If Repeats are not allowed, and order does not matter. We use what's called a combination. So how many ways can you put three ingredients on a pizza if you have four choices? In this case, if you put cheese, pepperoni, sausage on the pizza, that's what you order. Somebody else could walk in and do pepperoni, sausage, and cheese, and they'd get the exact same pizza. It's the same three toppings. So it doesn't really matter what... Or, what, what uh, to, uh, topping you choose first or tell the, the pizza place what topping is first they're just going to put the three toppings on and so that one is similar for math slide over the probability menu go down and select number three which is the combination and then you say three now because order doesn't matter we, we don't have as many ways to do this and so it's significantly lower number because pepperoni sausage cheese is the same as cheese sausage pepperoni but in the first example with um, permutations it would be considered different so now I need to switch out to my other one the blank notes and we're just going to run through some examples um, at any time after I read the question, you can pause it so that I don't give you the answer. I'll try to give some wait time after I read the question. So if we have seven flute players uh, in an ensemble, the names of all seven players are listed in the program in random order, in how many different orders can the players be listed? So that would be um, the 
the order matters, I can tell the difference between who's listed first or not. So uh, if you want to pause, do that now. But seven factorial. So that'd be the same answer as above. You do your math, slide over to your probability, and do number four, so seven factorial. Oh, I mean, it's 5,040. What is the probability that the players will be listed in alphabetical order? So the question really is, how many different ways can names be put in alphabetical order? Well, there's only one way. And so it's one of those particular combinations that you came up with. And because that's such a small number, you could just leave it. That's a good probability. Um, if you go to your calculator, you're going to see that it's got 1.98, a bunch of stuff, e to the negative 4, which means move your decimal 1, 2, 3, 4. So you could write it as the fraction. I would leave it as reduced fraction or 0 0.00198. So the chances that you randomly pick the names and put it, and they end up being in alphabetical order is uh, pretty small. After the performance, the players are backstage. There's a bench with only room for four to sit. How many possible seating arrangements are there? So on an example like this, I might just do my four blanks where the kids can sit, and there'd be seven people could sit there, six people, five people, or at the very end there's four. So just multiplying those together we get 840 different combinations. Gina Maria's Pizza has 12 toppings for pizza. You are ordering three topping pizza. How many different ways can you order this? Well, again, it does, if you call up and say, I want cheese, pepperoni, sausage, and somebody else call up, calls and says they want sausage, pepperoni, and cheese, it's exactly the same thing. So it's 12C3. If you do a 12C3 in your calculator, 12, you go over to math, you hit the probability, go down to NCR, then put in the 3, you end up with 220 different ways that you can order a pizza. There are 8 girls running in the finals of the 100 meter dash at a track meet. Medals are awarded for 1st, 2nd, and 3rd place. How many different results are there? So again, I have 8 runners. But this time it matters what place I get, so I can get first, second, or third. So if I get first, other people get a place, or I get third, that's, those are different combinations. So order does matter. And out of the three, or excuse me, out of those eight, we're only giving awards or something to those top three. So you go eight, math, side over probability, select your permutation put in a three and you're going to get 336 different combinations of people that could finish first, second, and third. But now the next problem is there are eight girls running in the prelims. Now prelims just mean you're not in the finals yet to win an award and they all, they'll take the top two finishers. So it doesn't matter if you finish first or second, you get to go on. So if runner A gets first and runner B gets second, they go to the finals. But if runner B gets first and runner A gets second, they both go to the finals anyway. So that's whether it's B, A, or A, B, it'll end up being the same thing. So it's 12, whoop, up here, eight combination, two choices. So eight combination, two choices, turns out to be 28 different ways we can do this. Now on the number five, of the 12 members of the student council, the principal has requested a committee of three. Now what we have to understand is it doesn't matter if you're chosen first or second or third, you're one of the 12 people. So we have 12 members of the student council. That's a combination because I only have to be one of the three to be on that committee. 
So 12 mass, side over probability decombination, 3, and we're getting 220. Minnesota license plates traditionally have three letters followed by three digits. How many of these different license plates are possible? So remember, there are three letters, which would be 26, 26, 26, and then three digits, which would be 10 digits, 10 digits, and 10 digits. So if we simply multiply all these out, 26 times 26 times 26, you can do that uh, 26 cubed times, you can even do times 1,000, you get 17,576,000. And then finally, what is the probability that the license plate has no repeated letters or numbers? So on an example like this, you have to think about the first three are letters, so there are 26 letters to choose from here, but now you can't repeat, so you can't use that one. So there's one less, and then there's one less here. And then the last three would be the digits, so 10, 9, and 8. And it cuts it down to 11 million, 232,000 different combinations.